Today we got a special video. As you can see, we got Camilo here. We've been asking for this for a while since I started, first started watching Haikyuu season one. Today, I'm gonna try to perform three of Nishinoya's special techniques. And I have a good volleyball friend here, Camilo Garcia, who's gonna be helping me enter the balls. And a really special one at the end where he's gonna imitate, is it Ushijima that hits the overpass? Uh, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna, even though he's right hand, he's gonna imitate Ushijima. But for those who don't know Camilo, did you want to introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, so you may have seen the other video about me. They're from obese to beast. But yeah, my name is Camilo. I'm a volleyball player. But, oof, almost all my life, I played college, retired for a while, then got back, and yeah, I'm a middle blocker. I've been playing a long time with Donny and against Donny. Yeah. Mostly middle blocker and volleyball fanatic like him. Also Haikyuu fan. <laughs> yes, he definitely watches way more Haikyuu than me. Definitely watch this video from Obese to Beast. I mean, he has an incredible inspirational story where you're like 360 pounds. 370 to 210. <laughs> Jeez. And double ACL surgery, double shoulder surgery, and now he's back playing at a really, really good level. So keep up with his progress here. For those who are new to my channel, I'm a volleyball coach and semi-professional volleyball player who does Haikyuu reaction videos, and I've already done all four seasons, and you can watch all those episodes linked in the playlist in the description box. We've already warmed up and we're just gonna do some practice rolls because the first thing we're gonna try to do is rolling thunder. So we're both gonna do it if you wanna do it with me. Go for it. <laughs> Before we add, add the ball. All right, we'll do some practice rolls. Whee! <laughs> oh, there me. you go. I think you can add the rolling thunder plus production. Oh boy, I actually feel pretty comfortable with this already. Now I'm gonna add the sound effects. <clears throat> How do I like split it? Rolling thunder! And okay, so I gotta start it before I do. You're gonna start it before. Okay. Because you don't have the pause on the anime that stops time. Rolling thunder! Camille's gonna try something. Uh, yeah, that was. Nice. <laughs> what if you aim here? I think you're trying to do your hand. Okay. Maybe do your form. Oh, dude, that was good. That's pretty good. Oh, dude, that was good. That was great. That was it. Yeah. It actually took a lot less time than I thought it would. Dude, Camilo got on his third try. Yeah, I got on my second try, so <laughs> let me know. Scale of one to ten, what do you guys think? Yeah. Maybe it came yeah. a little bit of velocity. Right, right. Okay. 
Can I just see? <laughs> 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 Oh, no, wait. No, <laughs> Right there, okay? Just block it right there. Okay, that's okay. perfect. Go. Oh! That was the one. James, I think we need some editing. Oh, okay. That's that's playable. That's, that's very best. playable. Okay. Oh, that one felt good. So I've caught that. Oh, that was pretty good. All right. So a couple things we learned. If you guys see on that camera, Camilo has to be on the outside to angle it here because unless my leg is parallel, like perfectly, <laughs> it's gonna keep bouncing out. So. Had to block it back in so it deflected upward. And also, I don't know how Nishinoi did without looking. He does this. First, he shakes. And I don't know how you do that angle, but we got one good take. I think we're gonna have to be okay with that one because my, my groin is killing me right now. Nice shot, Camila. You wanna try it? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a short break and enjoy some authentic Japanese snacks from our sponsors. Sakurako and Tokyo Treat, which are two of my favorite monthly subscription services where you get to enjoy a variety of authentic Japanese snacks every month delivered right to your door. First, we'll pick something from the Sakurako box, which is a more traditional selection. Pantone, looks like something salty and crunchy. Maybe some green beans. Wow, not salty at all, actually kind of sweet. Hard to describe, almost like a cookie. Lightly fried, very crunchy, like a sweet sugar butter cookie. Never get disappointed with any of these snacks. Sneak in a few more. Now to choose a more modern snack from the Tokyo Treat box. What do we have here? Kit Kat, but Japanese version. Looks like banana caramel. Love the color. I think this is Easter theme from last month because this is where I got the box from, April. Still says Kit Kat on there. Oh man, banana caramel. Never would have ever tried those combination of flavors together. Definitely has a strong banana flavor and a hint of caramel. They definitely did this flavor right. That was delicious. If you want to enjoy your own authentic Japanese snacks every month, Use my discount code and link in the description box to get $5 off your first order. Now that we've refilled our body, let's see if I can try two more of Nishinoya's moves. Good ones. Rank it one to ten. Let me know how accurate it is. That one was the most 
difficult by far. I'm still out of breath. Requires a lot of hip mobility, quadricep strength, and you gotta twist your knee without injuring it. So all the injury prevention stuff I've been doing definitely paid off. And my man Camila over there, super accurate with the hitting and tossing. This would not be possible. I didn't even get hit in the face once. That's how accurate this hitting is. So really good job entering. We're gonna do a bonus one. We were originally gonna do three because I thought it was gonna take two hours to do all this. I think so far it's only taken about an hour 10, hour 15, which is actually a long time for three moves. So we will do the bonus one. And this one, where Anish Shinoya just started learning how to jump set. He's gonna jump set in front of the 10 foot line. And I wasn't sure whether he's jump setting on the right or left, but he does set Asahi, I think, from the back row. So we're gonna double check the footage before we actually try this out. I know I already said this, but doing this video was super fun, especially with another Q fan like Camilo, who did such an awesome job. I'm so grateful for you, Camilo, for helping me out. I thought it was gonna be super difficult to do all these moves, but I'm surprised I actually got it on the first few tries. Of course, the one where I had to dig the overpass and the 360 turn, doing those together was very difficult. I could definitely do those two moves individually, but trying to time it and do both of them at the same time was pretty hard, and that one definitely took the longest. But we still got it done at the end of the day. Let me know in the comments if there are other Nishinoya's moves you would like me to try, or if you want me to try moves from other characters like Hinata, Kagiyama, and so on. I would love to do more of these videos, so let's keep this Haikyuu party going. All right, we just finished filming an amazing session. It only took like an hour, 20, 30 minutes. And I have this court rented for two hours. So we have free time and we're just gonna do some hitting and some other things because we love volleyball. So that's what these clips are about. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the high clips.